now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, February 16th. I'm Christina Bear. A special honor for a fallen soldier. The name of Army Sergeant Michael Aulis, who was killed in Afghanistan while saving a fellow soldier, is now the name of a new state-of-the-art ferry. Tap into Milltown Spotswood publisher Don Miller followed the story of its maiden voyage. He was 24, I believe, when um, he was killed. And he was killed protecting a, a Polish soldier when his the base where they were stationed at in Afghanistan was overrun by an insurgents. He, he basically saved the soldier's life. From what I've um, read and, and heard from his sister that like that was just always what he wanted to be was was a soldier. Such a huge loss for the community. Yes, like they both grew up in Staten Island, but his sister lived here in Spotswood and he would come here often to, you know, they had to see his nephews and to hang out with his sister. So when he was killed, like it, it was definitely um, something where the community came together to, you know, to try to, to help the family through a really difficult time. So tell me about the naming of this new ferry after him. Yeah, that was, it was pretty exciting because she, when I, um, she had said in the interview that it's an honor for, for that him because he's from Staten Island, but because, but it was also like a special place. Mm -hmm. You know, as kids, they would ride the ferry, you know, go into the city and as teenagers, it was like kind of a place to hang out. So she said it was, you know, really just like a whirlwind of, of emotions, um, to have now that, you know, it's named after him. And, you know, there's a plaque that, you know, basically tells his story. So, you know, every commuter that walks past, you know, it just, you know, keeps his legacy going. For more on the story, check out Tap Into Milltown, Spotswood. Trenton Mercer and Robbinsville airports will soon be getting a facelift. Tap Into Hamilton, Robbinsville reports that the two airports will receive $1.5 million for improvements. The money for these local airports is part of the Airport Improvement Program grants, totaling more than $8.5 million in state funds to support airport safety and improvement projects. Hillsborough Police called to a Board of education meeting over face masks. Tab to Hillsborough reports that a disagreement over the face mask mandate in public schools created several arguments in the audience during the meeting. No arrests were made and the meeting lasted just 16 minutes. After several attempts to get audience members to comply, the meeting was adjourned. Coming up, a special honor for a school police officer. We are a small business, we are a childcare provider, and having Lakeland Bank be a partner who understood our challenges, I believe was the key to us being able to get the PPP loan. We were struggling to make payroll numbers. I had my loan processed through the drive through window. The funds hit my account at 4 p.m. and we were able to process our payroll at 5 p.m. that Friday. I think that was a great success story for us and for Lakeland Bank. Welcome back. The Barnegat community honors a school police officer. Barnegat police officer Brian Weber serves as the school district's sole school resource officer. I'll tap into Barnegat Ware Town reports that for National School Resource Officer Appreciation Day, the Barnegat Communities That Care Coalition brought together students and staff to share their experiences with the officer in a video tribute. Officer Weber was also treated to lunch from members of the coalition. To receive your local news from Tap Into in your inbox every day for free, sign up at tapinto.net slash enews. Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank. <laughs>